Hello my soccer universe to the second part of my FCON jersey review and yeah that features probably the most famous jersey in the entire tournament the one that I have here I know it's not the 100% real deal I'm gonna look at that in a little bit I promise it's already for a women's world cup jersey review I'm gonna promise it even more we'll look at this very very soon uh, and let's start right away with the super eagle because they're the top seed in this group and as I said, it is the most icon iconic shirt in this group. It's in the entire tournament, probably not even the best shirt, but it's very near to the top. It's definitely top three. There, I have said it before, I'm not entirely sold on the black and white here. I know there's a reference to a, uh, the first Nigeria, maybe the first Nigeria Nike jersey, but yeah, it's a little bit um, odd to me also. Um, I usually liked Nigeria with the darker green, but I think I over like this pattern so much that I think this bright green makes actually for a, a great look overall. So yeah, for that reason, um, it doesn't get the full grade. The other thing that I have a slight criticism, and I know I'm super nitpicky here, super, super nitpicky, is that if you look at uh, the pattern, I don't mind that this geometric pattern here, but this is kind of the stripes here uh, makes it a little bit less organic, although overall the jersey has a really organic feel. It is one of the classic shirts of last year's World Cup um, and of this AFCON. I cannot go low with this one. It's and it's one of my favorite jerseys to wear at the moment. Yes, it's absolutely out there, but I absolutely love to wear it. Nine stars, said it before. The away jersey, um, again, a jersey that's absolutely growing on me. Uh, it is a really nice looking shirt. Um, with the dark green and then the uh, bright green popping. Uh, however, you know, compared to this one, it definitely falls off. So I would have liked that they do something with that design and use a little bit of that also on the away jersey. Maybe you could have done something there. Still, it's not a bad one. Um, I have a colleague who says this is the best jersey uh, at last year's World Cup, uh, especially with the bright green numbers used in it. We haven't seen uh, originally rated with five stars. I'm going to give this now six stars because I think I was a little bit too harsh on that one. So with Nigeria out of the way, because I've uh, talked so much about this and I've written blog posts, let's focus on the other three teams, which are all quite interesting. The next one is Guinea, which is kind of this... Um, not quite Mali, but you know, a team that's always they, uh, at the AFCON, even when it was 16 teams, always about to break through and has one of the greatest kit color combinations with the Guinean flag, red, yellow and green socks. Uh, it's To me, this is Cameron Amplified. Uh, and note that the Guinean flag is just a flip of the Mali flag. So if Mali plays Guinea, um, you unless you're an insider, you don't know which flag is which to, to be honest. It is Guinea that has the red to the left and Mali has green to the left. But other than that, there is not uh, much difference between these. Here Macron took over, which, uh, you know, I like Macron a lot, but I have to say at the AFCON, uh, the Macron kids don't quite cut it for me. And my main gripe with this shirt is that, yes, it is the red one. I even like this pattern that they have below, which is kind of this two, uh, the Guinean flag, but um, kind of a, a brush stroke feel onto it, which I, I think looks nice. I don't know why it's an L, E or whatever. I would like to know a little bit more about this. Um, I actually even like the Guinean crest, uh, but I like the crest, small soccer ball. You have the flag in there and then you have the animal. So uh, that definitely is a nice look. My big gripe with this one is, why do we have white on there? Make this yellow. Make some green in there. Don't use white. It completely develops the shirt because it, there is no white in the flag. There's no white anywhere else on the kit. This white is completely out of nowhere and to me, uh, destroys the shirt. Also, the color really, really, really looks weird. And this stripe, the white one, is unmotivated. If you look closer, there's a slight pinstriping there, which is nice. But I think all these white accents here completely destroy the shirt for me. Um, the pattern, yeah, it's nice, but gives it a unique accent, but also doesn't... Uh, while I like it on there, 
it also doesn't do much for me. I'm sorry. I was really uh, disappointed. I liked when Guinea plays in their home kit, but this white always booked me for that only three stars. I'm really harsh on that one. Sorry, Macron, but you didn't. Care. As for the away jersey, I originally had seen pictures of a yellow one, which were really hard to rate. But going through my archive of screenshots, I found out that yeah. Guinea actually has a white away jersey used at this Africa Cup of Nations and that's the one I'm gonna rate here. I assume the yellow one is similar but uh, from the pictures I can tell is there a green bar through it or whatever. The white one actually uses the same pattern that we have on the home jersey. However, it's just white and it has a blackish uh, color which with a very interesting triangle inset. Um, I guess then I have only uh, the screenshots from the game against Burundi. But I think it's a decent jersey, nothing uh, that gets me crazy. Um, we have red numbers on the back, uh, maybe the black Macron uh, signage. Maybe could have also used uh, some red there, I don't know. Um, I it's maybe a little bit off with the colors. I mean, black and white are not the national colors of Guinea. However, um, for Ghana, black and white are also not, or white and black are also not the national colors of Ghana, and they use this uh, for quite a while. Um, except that Ghana at least has a black star in there, so I guess uh, black can be used. As a weight jersey, I think it is fine. Um, I think it actually shows off this uh, kind of weird pattern nicely also the crest so i'm actually willing to give this five stars i think that's decent enough now we come to two newcomers at the fcon and two kits by a manufacturer called garman but two that go a little bit opposite routes we'll start first with madagascar who to me has one of the best kids at this AFCON. We mix this group uh, where we already have this great Nigeria kids, now you have also the great Madagascar kids in there. Look at this wonderful green jersey. That green alone justifies uh, giving it high mark, but it is absolutely hit out of the park with this overall pattern, which is uh, basically a lot of Madagascan symbols in there. Uh, this uh, antelope head uh, kind of is also reflected on the crest uh, a little bit. I don't know what it actually means. I mean, it looks a little bit like a totem pole, but to me this is such a strong statement, um, the entire look. The color, although a little bit weird looking, um, is also quite interesting in white and then the white sleeve cuffs. I mean, I miss a little bit the red on there, but with that pattern down the middle, poo, this is a darn great looking shirt. Uh, really a very strong look, a uh, very unique look. When I saw this jersey, I fell in love with it. I don't know if I will ever be able to get it, but this is a really great looking jersey. Um, note, there's a little soccer ball on, on the crest, which is circular, but it doesn't bug me. Same thing as this doesn't bug me because the eagle is the major and this little soccer ball is a uh, afterthought. This is a great jersey. It's right up there for me with the Nigeria kit. Um, I wonder if it's even better, but then, ah, it's not as... it's strong, but it's... nine stars. Same rating. Absolutely love this one. Also note how the numbers and so on are because of the pattern. They really allow this pattern to breathe by putting the front numbers to the side and it makes sense here. So absolutely love this one. Here we have also the away and the third jerseys. Uh, the away jersey I assume is the white one, which also has a very interesting pattern on there uh, that puts the crest on the center, which is very interesting uh, as well and makes for uh, also a good look. Um, maybe not as strong with this green from the uh, home jersey because uh, the pattern is not all the great, but you know, it has this kind of wings in there, similar to the Mali kit that we'll see. I still like this one, but I'm only gonna give this seven stars. And then the away jersey reminds me a little bit of the 2014 Ghana jersey, also about the Senegal jersey in 2017, which was green. This one is red, but also having kind of a tribal pattern all over. Uh, the white color, if that was a green color, I would give it even uh, more, but it's still very nice looking shirt. I'm also gonna give this seven stars. Madagascar, 
has one of the best overall looks in the entire tournament and I'm so glad that the team is still in contention. Well, tomorrow they'll be playing so but maybe, maybe by the time the, it is posts they will already be eliminated but maybe not. I mean they have been the sensation of this tournament and with those jerseys I know I gotta look hard for it because I really would like to have this green home jersey. And then Burundi is the other uh, debutant and unfortunately their jerseys, same manufacturer, but to me fall a little bit flat and the main reason for that is look at the flag of Burundi. It is the white cross with the three stars in the middle and then the other sections are red and green. So I would have expected that the home jersey does a little bit towards that regard as a little bit uh, red and green with a little bit of white. Maybe now have a red base and then green sleeves and then invert it somewhere for the away jerseys. Nothing like that. We get a red jersey that has this weird fade into white and there's absolutely no green on there. Uh, then also I'm not, I don't like these stripes along the shoulder. This is a look that is hard to pull off convincingly. The gradient, all right. I think the gradient looks good, but um, put some green in there. And exactly like in the flag, separate the green from the red uh, with some white. That I would have loved. Uh, other than that, these are just uh, rather average shirts. And I'm sorry to say, uh, I'm not as I'm not very much convinced by these. Um, Gala gift is only five stars. I mean, I have some interest in there, but it's not all that great. Okay. Now, as for the Burundi away jersey, uh, my research was very quick because I just had to go through my screenshots to find that Burundi was wearing their away jersey in the final game against Guinea. And what we get is a solid green jersey. Maybe the green is even a little bit too dark. I think the flag of Burundi has a green that's closer to the one used for Nigeria. Uh, with red, which is exactly what I was hoping for. Put some green on the home jersey. Here we have red uh, as an accent color and we have green as a main color and only a little bit of white on there. I think the white is, going, is getting uh, probably a little bit lost on there. Um, I find it interesting. I mean, uh, green and red are complementary colors, so it's um, that really only works in certain contexts. If you have your flag, uh, having green and red, great. Do I wish that there was a little white outline between? Yes, I do, but I think those jerseys are quite nice looking and make a strong statement, especially when you wear, wear with the pants that have the uh, red stripe even thicker. I'm not so sold on the uh, red stripe uh, going around the sleeves. However, the collar looks uh, really nice. Uh, the shirt is a strong statement. I wish that the green was a little bit lighter. I wish that, you know, we had just had the form strip on the side and it doesn't extend over here. Um, other than that, I think these are these really, really decent jerseys. And for that, yeah, I think I'm gonna go six stars. Anyway, let me know how you like the jerseys in this very interesting group. Um, as I said, Nigeria and Madagascar are heads and shoulders above the rest in this group and most of the tournament, I have to say. Those are two of the very, very best jerseys in the tournament. Anyway, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. Drop a line below how you like these jerseys, uh, whether you think I am spot on or completely off. I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.